Hi everybody! So before I start this video I wanted to do a quick disclaimer that I am not a professional and I don't claim to be a professional and this is just how I clean a betta fish bowl. Here's my betta fish Athena. So let's go ahead and this is my bowl and let's get started. So here I'm just going to speed through. What I'm doing is taking out the plants and ornaments, making sure they aren't slimy. If they are, rinse them with some warm water, just like I'm doing to this SpongeBob house. Then I'm going to empty out the water and I'm going to grab a cup and refill the bowl to make sure to get any of the poop and decaying food out. Here, for instructional purposes only, I'm showing you how to use a tube in your bowl to get the water out. Of course, you would be wanting a larger one, but silly me, I didn't. So what you're going to do is you're going to suck on the end. I got a little water in my mouth, but no big deal. And you're going to let it sit in the sink and flow out. So if the bowl was full, I would complete. I would stick this in and go do something else while I wait for it to drain. So now after doing that, I am reorganizing the gravel and sticking my plants back in. Um, I have a very specific way of how I like my fishbowl to look, so don't mind the tidiness. That's why I'm speeding through this video. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to stick my ornament right in the middle, and this is what it kind of looked like. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your beta safe drops. These are to make the water safe for them to swim in. And you're going to take seven drops per gallon. So I'm going to put seven drops in. I put them in first so when I put the water in it can mix. So now what I'm going to be doing is matching the temperature in the little jar to the temperature in the sink and take my cup and start filling up the bowl with water. I'm doing it very slowly as not to disturb the um, sorry as to disturb the gravel in the bottom. So beta fish need a lot of room to swim and such, so that's why I have the one gallon bowl. I used to have a half gallon bowl, but it was an issue to somebody here online, and I understand now why. But So here I'm going to dump the water in, and I'm going to catch her so she doesn't have a harder fall to the water. So that filled it up mostly, and now I'm going to fill it up the rest of the way with water. And this is a good way so you can thoroughly clean, not thoroughly, but you can clean the bottom of the gravel um, without having to worry about no good bacteria in there. So thank you all for watching. Have a good one. 